Alright, what's up guys? Right, right here, right here is what I'm going to say. Hi, say hi, Austin. Hey guys. We are Cray Edits. We are more than Cray, we are swag. That's, alright, but here's the one that I'm going to be showing. I'm gonna take it. Peace it's, mode, just like a little, it's just a little simple thing. It takes not much time. I already have it synced just because it takes a way the time. So I'm going to look at the waveform. To be honest, he took like two minutes to make this. So it's um It's not working, Austin! Oh, because that's the wrong song. Oh, <laughs> oh, dang it! <laughs> you the wrong song, you idiot. <laughs> Alright, wait, wait, Damn I have it. to. Just copy it from the other one because it's the same point. <laughs> okay, we were flipping out. Okay. Okay, okay, but now oh it is synced. All right. Yeah, I see I'm a genius. So yeah. Alright, so right there is where we're gonna split the clip because that's the drop. And that's when the uh Oh, the that's when that's when together. it yeah that's when Tell they the move together. The, the name of the effect it's gonna be in the, the well, title anyway, but it's it's thing. called time difference. Very simple to use. But he, he I found a new, yeah I actually found but there's a new way that I so I mean I'm the only there's, one who knows how to use it but there's, there's a, a second new way to use it by making an adjustment layer because that gives you a lot more options. What was the first way? They don't know the first new way. The first the first way. Just normal. It just doesn't matter. Putting it onto the clip. So then you just add the time difference onto the adjustment layer. And make the adjustment layer the same as that one, like the same time. And then you the wanna put the target now. as the fir the first clip, so more sick BMX adding for me. And then drag the time offset to however much you want. So like I guess I'll make it one uh, seven point seven seconds or something. And then I like, there's a bunch of like different blending modes. I like lightness of result. It makes the guy like white right there. So then you got the little ghost guy and the time difference and they morph together right there. When when it sinks, like when the dr bass drops the is when up. they move together. So at this point, what it should... I'm gonna take it. Beast mode. So then... Put the difference up. It's bothering me. No, no, it doesn't matter. But they don't sync together. It, they're missing, you see. That's exactly what's supposed to happen. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, see, they aren't even coming closer to, like... Oh, yeah, so, together. if they're not, if they're not, like, totally, like, coming together, like, I like it when they morph together, so then you might want it to have more time difference so that they morph together, so that those two people kind of, like, come together, and then they go disappear. Oh, and... So, it also, looks like this. I'm gonna take it! Beast mode! You can... Uh, it goes a little too... Oh, wait, wait, wait. That one went a little too fast, wait, so... You can keyframe the time offset, so if you want it to be a certain amount more in the beginning then you keyframe it and then if you want it to be sudden then you add a keyframe before the frame before okay you austin you're a little change. confusing and then if you want it to morph in then you just put a normal keyframe all right so then basically just to make a more of a transition from time difference to no time difference i like twixter so i'm just gonna add if you don't have twixter you should probably get it because it's pretty awesome and i i like i don't know 10 10 speed and then that makes it from the normal speed. So that looks pretty good already. But then I, my transition to make it a little bit more smooth is twitch. So I'm gonna add twitch to the second clip. It's your transition for everything. Yeah, I like twitch. And then just change the speed a little bit so that the amount isn't isn't too much. Because if it's too much, it might look a little bit bad. I don't know. And then make it zero. Keyframe it. So that it eventually goes away. Then I'm gonna ena I like blur. I'm gonna ener enable blur and scale. Now, if you guys didn't know already, to make the uh, to make it so oh not scale not scale my bad, but to make the RGB thing, all you do is go over here and slide the RGB split to like I don't know like eight, and then it like the clips have like the RGB split and they go at a different time. So basically, that is it. It should show up pretty good. I'm take it. Beast mode, I'm in beast mode. Except and you can add a color correction and stuff and make it look pretty. All right. So then the the reason the ex the adjustment layer gives you more options is because you can change the blending mode now. So I might use go over here. I don't know pin light. And actually, that didn't change it at all. But I'm gonna change it. Let's try subtract. That doesn't look good. But basically, you can just try different things. Like, that looks a, diff a little bit different, and then it combines. You can also make it so that only one part of it has time difference. 
I think that's pretty cool too. Like that actually, that might look pretty cool. Actually, that might look really, really cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. But that's that's it, guys. Hope you enjoy the new effect we found. And see you guys next time.